I'm going to show you a number of ways that you can boot your Windows 10, Windows 11 PC into safe mode. Now, if you're able to log on to your PC, let me show you two ways that you can get into safe mode if you can log on. So let me log on here. Now, once you're in Windows, we'll go to Start. We'll go into Settings. We're going to slide down to Update and Security. And then once we're in Update and Security, we're going to click on Recovery. Now, in here should be an area called Advanced Startup. And if you click on it, it will then ask you, do you want to restart the computer? And you'll say yes. Notice I don't have that here. Many of you will have that option here. And that's one way to get into your startup settings. And you can choose then Safe Mode. Now, notice it isn't here. This is also not unusual. So let me show you another way of getting into your safe mode. So let's come down to our search bar and I'm going to type in MS config and I'm just going to hit enter and we're going to start the system configuration utility and let's come up to the boot option. And under boot option, you'll notice we have safe mode and I'm going to check that. We'll apply and say, okay, and then we'll restart. And that should start us into safe mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and log on again. And I can tell that I am in safe mode because in the four corners, I see safe mode. In the extreme corners of my desktop, I see safe mode. So now I'm in safe mode. Certain applications did not load, certain services did not load and many proprietary drivers did not load. So if I had a problem with just installing a video card driver, I can now go and uninstall that. And now I can install a driver that may work without causing my system to become unstable. Another way to get into safe mode is, here's my logon screen. I'm going to hold the shift key down, hold the shift key down, hit the power button. And then I'm while I'm holding that shift key down, hit the restart. I've continued to hold that shift key down. Hold the shift key down, hit restart, and it's going to reboot into my recovery. I'm going to choose troubleshoot. I'm gonna to go to advanced options, and I'm going to go to startup settings. And this allows me to get into where I can choose safe mode, boot logging, debugging, and many others. So let's go ahead and restart. And there I am, I can choose one of these menu options and I can go into four, which is safe mode. And I'm going to log on. And we can see again, I'm in safe mode. I see safe mode in all four corners of my desktop. So I know that I'm in safe mode. Now, for some reason, while you're in safe mode and you restart your computer and it doesn't automatically go back into normal mode, let me show you how to get out of safe mode. We're going to go back to our search menu, do MS config, and we're going to start our system configuration tool. We'll go back to boot. And this time I'm going to make sure that safe mode is unchecked. And when I do that and apply, then it should take me normally out of safe mode back into normally booting windows. Now, if you're not sure what to do and how to troubleshoot Windows once you get into startup settings and safe mode, if you go to Tech Savvy Productions, which is our other channel where we go more in depth into technology, you can see a couple of videos that actually walk you through step by step on how to troubleshoot Windows in these special boot modes. You can go to Tech Savvy Productions. I'll put a link in the video description and you can just click on it and do this. You'll go to the main channel. If you go to the videos tab and then click on the search and type in startup settings. And once you have that, hit enter and it will take you to how to boot windows into safe mode, the windows startup settings, and then how to troubleshoot windows 10 startup, learning about startup settings. So I have two videos here that can help you troubleshoot your windows problems using these special boot up modes. If you're watching me right now, you're the very person we're attempting to reach with our channel. People with a real interest to learn technical topics and skills. 
Because our content is free on YouTube and our audience is a relatively small group of viewers, if any of this material is helpful to you, we would appreciate your support. You can support the channel as simple as liking a video. Hit that like button because it helps others like you find our content. You can subscribe. It's an effective way of supporting us. And if you can, if you're able, you can become a member of the channel. It's $2.99 a month, less than a cup of coffee. And we really want your comments and feedback on any video we produce. And thank you for supporting Tech Savvy Productions. Thank mm -hmm. you.